What's up, Elite NX athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to front lever hold. So open up the Thenx app to the brand new front lever technique guide, and let's get it started. Alright, so a lot of you have been requesting the front lever hold, so here it is. If you open up the Thenx app to the front lever technique guide, it should take you right here. And before we begin, you want to take a look at the requirements. You want to be able to pass these comfortably and safely before even starting the front lever technique guide. So before we begin, let's take a look at the intro. What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? Welcome to the front lever technique guide. Before you begin the front lever technique guide, it's important that you've passed the requirements comfortably and safely. This technique guide is going to build you a solid front lever. We've broken down this technique guide into two parts. In part one, we're going to be breaking down the fundamental steps to the front lever. We're going to be focusing specifically on building that core strength and being able to start learning the front lever. We're going to take you through the steps that are going to strengthen your core and allow you to begin to learn the front lever. In part two, we're going to be showing you the progressional stages to the front lever, along with the workouts that are going to get you to front lever in no time. These progressions are going to strengthen the muscles for the front lever. They're also going to connect you to allow you to understand the movements of the front levers with the proper techniques and forms, accompanied with the workouts, and you got yourself a solid front lever. So are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so as you can see, we have two parts. Part one, the front lever steps, and part two, the front lever progressions. So first we have part one, step one, hanging L-sit hold. If you click the video on the top, this video is gonna give you a description of how to do this move perfectly with all the tips and techniques they are gonna have you master this movement. You wanna be able to do the hanging L-sit for 20 seconds. So we're gonna skip the top video, we're gonna go straight into the exercise video so I can just show you guys all the progressions and run you through all of them. So let's take a look at this one, hanging L-sit. All right, so you wanna be able to do hanging L-sit for 20 seconds. Let me show you guys what that looks like really quick. If you start with a little bit of an over grip, it's gonna be a lot easier to hang on. From here, squeeze the bar and lift those legs and control as you lift. From here, just breathe, hold tight. Squeeze the calves, point your toes, activate that core. You wanna be able to do this move right here for 20 seconds perfectly before moving on to the next step. If you're moving at all, you're still not ready. And if you're still having trouble just being able to do this, you can always just bring in one leg or just hold it as long as you can, then bring in one leg, then switch. When you can't do it anymore, bring in one in. See, work, work progressionally. And then when you can't hold that anymore, come down. That is gonna increase this movement. So eventually you'll be doing a hanging L-sit for 20 seconds. All right, let's see what the next step is. Tuck front lever hold for 15 seconds. Let's check out the exercise video at the bottom. All right, tuck front lever hold. You wanna be able to do this move for 15 seconds, perfectly and comfortably before moving on to the next step. So have a little bit of that over grip, squeeze that grip, hands shoulder width apart, and you wanna come up like you're doing knee raise. We're gonna knee raise as high as you can and then lift up those hips. Lean back and lift up those hips. Once you feel you're in a nine degree, hold. Don't forget to breathe. So you wanna be consciously lifting from the hips once you've gone as high as you can with those knees and just try to stay in that leveled position. If you don't know you're in that level position or not, take out your camera and record yourself. That can instantly improve your technique and you can improve that skill moving on to the next step. So you wanna be able to hold that for 15 seconds. So let's go to the next step. Step three, upside down deadlift, 10 times. Let's see what that looks like. All 
All right, so that was upside down deadlift. So you wanna do this move 10 times with perfect form comfortably to move on to the last step. So let's check it out. Hands shoulder width apart. You wanna start with a toes to bar, keeping your legs straight. Don't move. If you use momentum at this point, like you try to swing up, it's gonna be so much harder to do this exercise. So you really wanna develop that core strength with the previous progressions to be able to do this move. So if start right away using your core, no movement. From here, you're gonna push from the lower back and your hips to straighten out your body. See, you wanna hold tight, tight with the hands. Come back down, push back up. Stay real close to the bar. When you're doing this move, you wanna make sure not to pull your arms and bend them. You can pull by the shoulders because you're using a lot of scapula activation. When you're pushing up, it's like an upside down deadlift, exactly like one. So you're doing this move upside down. So you're gonna need a lot of shoulders and you're gonna need that lower back and those hips. Stay really close to the bar because if your legs start to veer away from it, you're gonna feel like it's gonna drag you back down. So your feet should be either on top of the bar or a little bit past it as an indicator that you're really close to the bar. All right guys, so master this move 10 times in a row to go on to step four. The last step of part one, upside down hold for 15 seconds. Check it out. All right, upside down hold, 15 seconds. So this move is just like the upside down deadlift, except you're gonna hold it at that rep point. So you're gonna come up, hands shoulder width apart, feet straight up, toes to bar. From here, push that lower hip and bring those scapulas back. Here you wanna hold it, hold, hold, hold. Make sure the bar is really close to your body. Squeeze that bar close to your body and just hold as long as you can. Squeeze that grip, it's gonna make it easier. If you feel like you're drooping down, push it back up and straighten it. You wanna be able to hold this move comfortably for 15 seconds with perfect form to move on. So before you guys move on, we have the front lever workout. In this workout, if you click into it, you can see we have all the techniques that we just learned, all the moves we just learned, plus some more that's gonna have you apply these movements into your workout and master these steps so you can start going on to the progressions of the front lever. You wanna be able to do this workout here at least two to three times a week for the next two to three weeks before moving on to the next progressions. So once you're ready to move on, we're ready for part two. Part two, step one, we have front lever drop, single leg and both. Five times each, let's take a look. All right, front lever drops, single leg and both. You wanna do this five times each with one leg and with both. Now, as you can see, I'm already drenched. I'm already like getting tired just from these exercises alone. So if you guys are taking this technique guide and you're doing the progressions along the way, you can also, even if you're able to do all the progressions, do each progression as many times as you can and then move on to the next one. That is a great way to train front lever. So now let me show you guys what this move looks like. So you're gonna go up just like that upside down hold. And from here, you're gonna bring in one leg. Now you're gonna lean back and lift your hips, but decrease. Decrease the amount of your hips coming down by pushing it slowly and letting the negative come down. You don't wanna come down by your foot, you wanna come down by your hip. If you come down by your foot, you're gonna be like super bent when you're coming down like this. And then coming down like this, because you think in your mind that you're straight by your foot. But really what makes you straight is that position of your hip. So when you're coming down, push that hip up and just slowly bring it down. But lead from the hip. All right, so once you can do it with one leg, once you can do it with the other one, then you wanna do it with both. Lean back, push those hips out 
and keep those arms straight. Do not forget to squeeze, squeeze those hands. So you want to master this move right here, guys, before moving on to the next one. Five times for each. So let's see the next step. All right, we have advanced tuck front lever for 10 seconds. All right, so there you have it. Advanced tuck front lever hold. You wanna be able to hold this right here for at least 10 seconds perfectly and comfortably before moving on. So to do this move right here, it's just like the tuck front lever. You come up with those legs first, lean back to lift up the hips, and from this position, you're gonna lean back more and as you extend those knees out. And that's the position you wanna be able to hold perfectly for 10 seconds before moving on to the next round. If you guys still are having trouble on how to do these moves, jump into the app and click the video on the top. This top video right here is gonna break down every single one of these movements very thoroughly, showing you all the tips and all the techniques to apply to master these moves. We're moving by super quick just so I can show you all the techniques and all the progressions, but to really understand each one of these moves, you need to get into that app and you need to look at those top videos. So we're gonna move on now and we're gonna go into single leg front lever hold, 10 seconds each. All right, so there you have it. Single leg front lever hold. So the way that you do this move, it's almost like going into that tuck front lever, except you're gonna leave one leg out. So you're gonna lean back. Make sure you're coming up with those hips. You're leaning back. You have a little bit of that false grip and you're pushing like a lat pull down. Like you're trying to get here and your hips to meet each other, right? So we're gonna go up, leg in, lift it up. Down, the other one. You wanna be able to master this hold, master this move right here. If you're still having trouble doing this move, you can always pull out a resistance band. All right. So with this resistance band, it should help you a lot more to be able to add in more reps to master this move. Okay. Let's move on to the next step. So now we have step four from part two, and that is ice cream makers. Let's check it out. All right, there you have it, ice cream makers. You wanna be able to do this 10 times perfectly to move on to the next step. So the way that you do this is you go into a pull-up. Once you go into that pull-up, you wanna lock. Lock your shoulders, lock your elbows, lock everything from here. And then you're gonna make your body as a unit, from your shoulder to your heel. From there, you're gonna lean back and extend your arms straight while you push those hips up. It should look like this. Come up to the top. From here, lock. Once you're locked, lean back, extend those arms. Bring in those hips. You want to be able to master this move right here 10 times perfectly to move on to the next step. So now we're on to step five, front lever raises, both legs and single legs. All right, there you have it. Front lever raises, single leg and both. So this move right here, you're accumulating all the techniques, skills, and strengths that you're acquiring from doing all the previous progressions to get you to this move right here. So once you've been practicing everything else, lifting up your body from the bottom should be relatively easy at this point, or getting there at least. So to do this move, start with that over grip, lean back, and make sure those scapulas are forward. So you're gonna lean back, and let's start with one leg first. And the other one.
If you guys are still having trouble with this move right here, again, just like the ice cream makers, you can always bring out a resistance band and it will help you add more reps into this movement right here. Also, once you've been doing it for one leg and the other leg, you can then start to do it with both legs. Before doing it with both legs, try with the resistance band. Whew. All right, so we're getting near the end. Believe it or not, I'm actually feeling this right here. Okay. So now we're at the last step. Step six, front lever hold. Let's check it out. All right, so that's the front lever hold right there. So you wanna be able to hold this for five seconds. So now, after mastering all the progressions, the workouts, and the steps prior, you should already be able to basically hold a front lever. So at this point, it's just a check off list of all the things that you're in the right position. So my hand is number one. Make sure I have that over grip. Make sure I have my scapulas forward. Make sure that my body is already coming out like this. I can feel my lower back and my hips being activated. And from here, I'm gonna lean back. Once I lean back and I get into that flat position, I squeeze the grip, I squeeze those hips, pinch my butt, squeeze those core, and I just hold tight, tight, tight. You wanna make sure to breathe while you're doing this move right here, guys. So this is basically it. If you're still having trouble doing this move, you can always grab a resistance band for more assistance. Drop it in the top put in both legs and eventually once you've been training with both legs for a while you've been doing it with both legs you can then take out one leg and try to do it with just one always keep trying to challenge yourself and then put it on to the other leg all right guys so that is the last step to the front lever technique guide but it doesn't end there once you have learned how to front lever hold lastly we have the front lever advanced workout. If you click into here, this workout has all the techniques and moves that we just showed you, plus some more to master your front lever hold. And it shows you how to apply these moves into your workout regimen. So to get your front lever 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 and beyond, do this workout, the previous workout, and all the progressions and steps in this technique guide to master this move right here. This move is a journey. Once you get it, it's not about getting it, but it's maintaining it and prolonging it. All right, guys, so if you found this front lever technique guide helpful, share it with somebody. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. For complete workout programs, for all our workout programs, all our technique guides on how to do planche, muscle up, front lever, and all these amazing moves, to getting in the best shape of your life. Not just looking strong, but actually being strong. Become a member right now to Fenex.com. Download our app. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, guys. Peace out.